we're going to explain how to repair a gel battery. Repairing a gel battery is tricky because they're sealed and designed to be maintenance-free. Unlike flooded lead-acid batteries, you can't easily top them off with water. Most repairs involve addressing issues that prevent the battery from working correctly rather than physically fixing internal components. One, assess the problem. First, you need to figure out what's wrong. Is the battery not charging? Is it showing a low voltage? Is it completely dead? Use a multimeter to check the battery's voltage. A fully charged gel battery should read around 12.8 volts. A significantly lower voltage suggests a problem. Two, check connections. Loose or corroded connections are common culprits. Carefully inspect the battery terminals and cables. Clean any corrosion with a wire brush and baking soda solution, ensuring the connections are tight. Pay close attention to any cables connected to the charging system. A faulty regulator can prevent proper charging. Three, inspect the charger. If the battery isn't charging, the problem might lie with the charger, not the battery. Check if the charger is providing the correct voltage and amperage for your gel battery. A faulty charger can overcharge or undercharge the battery, leading to damage. Test the charger with a known good battery if possible. Four, check for internal shorts. Internal shorts are a serious problem and often mean the battery is beyond repair. If you suspect a short, you might notice unusual heat from the battery or a bulging case. If this is the case, replace the battery. Attempting repairs is dangerous. Five, sulfation. Sulfation, the buildup of lead sulfate crystals on the plates, is a common issue that reduces battery capacity. While you can't physically remove the sulfate, you might try a desulfation process using a specialized battery charger designed for this purpose. These chargers apply pulses of electricity to break down the sulfate crystals. However, success is not guaranteed and depends on the severity of the sulfation. Six, consider a battery analyzer. A battery analyzer can provide a more detailed assessment of the battery's health, including its internal resistance and state of charge. This can help you determine if the battery is repairable or needs replacement. Remember, safety is paramount. Always wear safety glasses and gloves when working with batteries, and never attempt repairs if you're uncomfortable or lack the necessary tools and knowledge. If you're unsure about any step, it's best to seek professional help or replace the battery. L batteries are expensive, so weigh the cost of repair against the cost of a new battery. Placing a gel battery is often the most practical solution, especially if you suspect serious internal damage.